butterflies, I hope that you are well and that you're using your time and your energy in order to elevate. Now you are here today with your girl, it's Tilioni, and that's me. And you are here for Tea Talks. Now, it has been such a long time since I've actually sat down and spoken to you guys and got very intimate and very close and, you know, shared any thoughts of mine or any sorts of uh, motivation. So today, I want to provide that just for you. So, as we know, today is Tea Talks, then I feel like there's no other better opportunity for me to share an uplifting quote with you than now. Happy Earth Day. I pray you've spent it in the most resourceful way. Let's keep striving and making this world a better place. Now I feel as though this is such an inspiring and innovating quote for us all because as we know, yes, today is Earth Day and it's so important that we're doing the most integral things to make sure that we're advancing as a society and as a community and as a whole. So, today is part one of five things I've learned at 20 that I'm using to advance at 20. So if you want to know, then make sure that you listen and that you stay tuned. Okay, okay, okay. Now before we actually get into the video, I want to give you a few exciting announcements of which I am literally bursting to share with you guys. Now, I'm not sure if you do already know, but Your Lady Tea is part of Friday's Youth Intervention, of which is an organisation in Coventry um, that initiates empowerment workshops and groups for young children who are trying to uh, fight against knife crime. And it's such an amazing cause. I'm so grateful to be a part of this. And through this, many opportunities have spurred many sorts of projects and all these different events are up and coming. And within that, I have also been featured upon their Hills FM chart show, of which I am actually presenting upon that chart show. But not only that, my song, My Story, is within the top 20 chart and I have now made it to number two so you know your girl, your girl is coming and soaring through so I'm ever so grateful to everybody that has voted so far and that has kept me within these charts because it really does mean the most to me and you know what you can help out now as well by going down to the link in the description box below and ensuring to click on that link and vote for your girl T Leone because we need my story to get to the number one place, you know. I try to get to the top spot, okay? Honestly, it would mean the absolute most to me. But yes, not only that, your girl has gone and passed her driving through the test. Listen, it has been a long time coming and I have been very much uh quite uh, I would say quite hesitant to get on the road and to get really stuck into like driving and things like that because I've been prioritising other things but I thought you know what there's no better time than now and I thought it's so essential that I do focus on trying to sort out my driving theory so I have done it, I have done it oh, and yeah. the next thing now is to go and pass my actual driving test which I'm looking forward to as well. So if anybody wants a video in regards to how to pass your driving theory test if you haven't passed it yet then I will be more than happy to do a video on that if you would like that. So please let me know again below because we know Tea Talks is dedicated to motivation, elevation, tips in order to grow and evolve and you know, being able to drive and get on the road is a form of independence. So that's growing and evolving and that's what we live for. So yes, let me know down below. So yes, those are just the a few announcements that I had for you guys. I'm ever so grateful once again, you know, God really has come through and he's put me on and, you know, a lot of things are coming into fruition and, you know, I'm on a mission to success and these things are literally occurring as we speak. So it is very much about speaking things into existence and just putting the work in and everything will unfold naturally and I'm, again, grateful, grateful, grateful. Now let's get into the video. So as we know, today's video is all about my 20 things I have learnt from 20 of which I am going to use to advance at 21. So let's start with the first thing that I have learnt. The first thing that I've learnt would definitely have to be 
having patience. Now, patience is a virtue and that's something I've always been taught from a young girl and I've never really, well, I had never really understood the whole sort of uh, philosophy around it. As you grow and as you get older, you really do realise that patience really is the key to success and to growing and to evolving. There's many sorts of situations and different circumstances that patience can be used in many ways. And You know, for myself as an artist, I feel as though it's very essential that, you know, I do use this skill and I nurture it because even like within my career, you know, you expect things to just happen so quickly and progression to come so quickly and that's just not the reality of things. Everything takes time and if you're willing to give things that time then it shall happen. You just have to let yourself be submerged in what you are doing in here and in now and just be patient and just let things na happen naturally. There's no point pushing things because things that easily come are easily able to slip away and things that t are, are hard to come they stay. So I feel as though anything that is good is worth waiting for and that's the sort of thing that I think is really important. You don't see results quick, you see them in a matter of time. It's the same way if you lose it, trying to lose weight, you know, it does take time. It's about giving yourself that time in order to make sure, okay, this is what's going to happen. Or if you want to gain weight, it takes time. It doesn't happen in one day, two days, three days. It happens in weeks, months. And that's the sort of thing that we have to get used to and we can't rush things. It's all about taking time and not ever rushing. Be patient with yourself, be patient with other people and you know everything will be better and everything will work out just fine. It will all naturally unfold. The next thing that I have learnt from being 20 and that I'm taking into being 21 would definitely have to be resilience. Now you just have to remember that nothing it can break you and resilience again is something that I've learnt through being an artist and I feel being a woman in itself, I feel as though in life you have to be able to have a tough mentality and be able to listen to what people say but take it with a pinch of salt or maybe even not listen to what people say because sometimes what people say it's got no worth, it's got no use, it's got nothing resourceful to it so there's no point taking it in or listening to it at all, you just filter out any of that foolishness, any of that nonsense that isn't going to be of any value to yourself. You just focus on yourself and being the best that you can be. Resilience really is key. You will get a lot of criticism that won't be constructive and that's going to be in any career, any endeavour, all throughout your life you have that from people who are going to be disapproving of you and may not like you and this, that, the other. But it's not about whether they like you, that's their loss if they don't like you, if they don't like the way you are. It's all about what you think about yourself and remembering who you are and staying true to who you are because that's the most important thing. You are the only you in this world and just remember that. And that's the most important thing. Not to let anyone undermine your worth and not to let yourself be demoralised, dehumanised by anyone else. And the thing is, resilience, again, comes with many, many forms. You know, there's resilience within uh, being able to do something, telling yourself you can do something, regardless of what anyone says. You can continue to do something. With practice, with dedication, will come the, the outcome, the results. It's all about having that mindset, that, that mentality of I can and I will, and I have, and that is it. You know, not being too hard on yourself, not allowing others to be too hard on yourself and just refusing to listen to it all. Just staying focused on the target and that is it. The third thing that I have learnt from being 20 would definitely have to be being truthful. Now the truth will set you free. Not three, free. Sorry, my mouth right now. The truth will set you free and Believe this, believe me, I did struggle with the truth and being told, being, dealing with honesty was a hard thing for me, especially because most of the time the truth does hurt and the truth may not be what you want to hear. Now, the truth, when I say the truth, 
I don't mean someone being nasty to you and saying something hurtful to you. I mean someone saying something to you and telling you something that may hurt you, that may be of a nature, um, that may be alarming to you. Or The truth can even come in many forms where it can be a soft truth, a nice truth, but the truth. The truth is the best thing because there's no point lying. At the end of the day, lying and covering things up, the truth will always come out in the end. The truth always does. And that is why, from the get-go, it's just the best to just tell the truth and to just be honest with people. For example, if a friend asks you, okay, do you want to come shopping with me and this, that, the other, or how do you think my hair looks, do you like it, this, that, the other, be truthful, be honest. But say it in a way that is also is kind and think about the way you say things. Have integrity, because that's the most important thing. And you know that you're living righteously and that you feel better in yourself. It's worse holding things back and not saying anything and not telling the truth and not being honest with people because then people can't be honest with you and you're not being honest with yourself first and foremost and that's not a good way to live. And the thing is that the truth and trust always builds that good foundation, that solid foundation of loyalty and a lot of other values derive from honesty and without honesty there isn't any trust you can't trust anyone around you people can't trust you and that is why again honesty is the best policy now we move on to my fourth thing that i've learnt from being 20 that i'm taking to advance at 21 and that would definitely have to be procrastination now procrastination is one of my biggest enemies and it had been for a very very long while the thing is with procrastination it just completely deflects destroys determination and the thing is this is like a, for a lot of people who struggle with self-doubt and have a low self-esteem they do not believe in themselves they don't believe that they can do certain things which puts them off completing tasks and going for what they want to go for always putting things off and that's the worst thing to do ever and I feel as though a way that I've tackled that and to eradicate procrastination is to ensure that I have a to-do list of things that I want to accomplish even for the day and I kind of set out time frames so that I can focus upon these things and also affirmations which I think are very key as well telling myself I can do this I will succeed that was one of the things that also really helped me when it came to passing my theory test. I was very much disciplined, because discipline comes into this. You need to be very disciplined in order to eradicate the procrastination and to prevent any sorts of aspects towards your learning and towards you moving and progressing forward. Because with procrastination, you just end up being stagnant. You may end up being resourceful in other ways, doing other things, but not doing what you actually need to do and what you need to focus on to move forward. And that is why you have to snap out of it and you have to tell yourself, I can do this and I will do this. And it is a very hard thing to do, but once you pick up yourself, you know, activation is a thing that will actually get you moving forward. It's you pushing yourself with no motivation, no determination and just saying I'm going to do it and just making yourself do it. And sometimes when you make yourself do things that's when the motivation comes, that's when the drive comes and that's what I feel is really important with procrastination. Get rid of it and tell it to move the hell out because we ain't got no space for you now. Pow! Okay? Get rid of procrastination. Honestly it is not good in any way it is counterproductive and we don't need that we gotta let it go we gotta let it go the fifth thing that i have learnt at 20 is that it is okay not to know what to do or what direction you are going within because you see life is like a maze or like a road like a motorway there's so many diversions and it's just trying to navigate your way around these bends and these dips and these. it's all about being able to just explore and just be able to broaden your horizons i feel as though it's good to have some form of direction and some brief idea of what you want to do there's going to be certain likes certain dislikes certain things that you would love to do and experience and all of these things which are very key but 
at a young age of 20, 21, you're really just starting life and you've just come out of education, most of us, and you know, it's just trying to be able to navigate what we want to do. And I feel like this time really is for exploring and advancing your skill set and being able to know what sort of direction do I want to go in. It's gauging where you want to go, not really knowing. You don't have to know because you never know what can occur in life. And people's career paths always change. There's always people who may say from a certain age, oh, I want to do this, I'm, I'm aiming to this, I'm aiming to do that. They go into that field and then they decide that, you know, this isn't for me. And that's okay too. Not everything has to be for you. Through each situation, each experience, you are going to gain something, you are going to learn something that you can take and use to advance yourself in a new way. And so anyone that doesn't really know what they want to do or doesn't really have a certain sort of, or doesn't maybe know what their purpose is, it is fine, it is okay. Just literally stick to what you know. You know, that, that will be a key I would say to you. It's just to stick to certain things that you like, explore them more, advance on them more, look for certain fields within maybe that, you know, that sort of hobby that you may have or your likes and your and what it is that you are interested in and just move from there and, and experience it and if you don't like it look elsewhere but always be looking for certain things and getting involved in things that are going to be helpful and beneficial to you and that is the most important thing thank you ever so much everybody for watching that video please let me know what you thought about my five things that I learned from 20 that I'm taking to advance at 21 and ensure to stay tuned for my next video of which will actually be uploaded on Tuesday the 3rd of May. So you better stay tuned because that's only a couple days or only a week away. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And yes guys, thank you again. Make sure that you have a lovely rest of your day. And stay tuned because I'm only a tea away. Okay, bye bye.